four years ago, I was diagnosed as a celiac, in fact, just after we opened Niche, which meant quite a big change for me, if you consider that I've worked in food all my life. So my friend and business partner here uh, suggested that we um, turn Niche into being 100% gluten-free. When we first started out, uh, it was uh, a very different business. We started out as a, as a British bakery concept. The place was full of bread. We had, that section over there was uh, actually just a bakery. We had like, a table full of cakes and bread. There was, at that time, it already just started being the kind of the quest for gluten-free stuff. You know, having looked at what's out there for gluten-free people in the supermarkets and everything, whilst it's evolved, some of it is quite nasty. And uh, I, I just wanted us to be authentic. So, Niche is an entirely gluten-free restaurant. We serve, uh, I'd say, modern European food. We were very Brit-based to start with, but it's kind of evolved. And uh, as, as the restaurant's gone on, we've more specialised in general free-from, so we do lots of things for vegans and vegetarians. It took quite some work to get the recipes right. It isn't as straightforward as just changing one flour for another. Things like hydration and all those things take some time to learn. It was kind of a new science and, and my nerdy side came out. We wanted the food to be something, if you're a celiac, you could come here in complete confidence that knowing everything is absolutely gluten-free, but actually bring your friends as well in the hope that they wouldn't notice. Well, this is an interesting location because when we chose it, we liked the double frontage. It was a kind of a little bit of a rundown Thai restaurant for many years, and we've kind of brightened it up and did it all up. But what we soon discovered was, although there were lots of people passing by, they're passing by on their way to somewhere. So actually, the bakery concept didn't really kind of work. So we evolved in over a bit of time, uh, but then we needed to find something you know that stood alone. So uh, we obviously look for foods that are naturally gluten-free, but it's also foods that, as a celiac, you wouldn't ordinarily be able to have because they require more effort, more, more uh, study to be able to make them well and consistently. So we have um, got, got dishes on our menu that you know, I personally create, obviously our pie, which has been a big thing since day one. We want people to have it and think, oh, that's just a great pie rather than it's gluten-free. Our strap line is gluten-free, but you wouldn't know it. And that's really important because you know, still a good percentage of our diners, they don't care. They, they're coming here for a meal before the theatre, or indeed they're just coming here for a meal. So from the outside, we don't shout about it too much because it puts other people off. It's very clear that we wanted to make sure that the, we were just a good restaurant for those people that were passing by or going to the theatre. It isn't about healthiness as much, it's about, it's, it's about having a, a nice restaurant to experience. We are a fresh food business. We work with our suppliers quite closely. Some of the things are unique to us um, and we buy direct from the supplier. We're very lucky in that we make everything from scratch. I mean, one of the challenges of our business you know, is generally that we make everything from scratch. If you get one ingredient wrong, it messes up an entire batch, particularly on things like pastry or cakes or desserts. It applies to every part of what we do. And the chefs don't naturally like to do that. They like to kind of chuck it in and and uh, you know, go from instinct, but it, it is one area in gluten-free cookery, you just absolutely have to weigh everything. So that's what we make sure we do. Five hundred thousand people in the UK are undiagnosed celiacs, are so living with celiac disease without knowing it. There are many studies out there which say um, it can help with uh, things like rheumatoid arthritis. Um, it helps with um, other autoimmune things, skin conditions, eczema, psoriasis, other other problems that people may have. It might seem like it's becoming more popular, but it's not. It's just more attention is brought to it because of the new allergen laws that exist. People are realising the health benefits of eating gluten-free. For me, it's not a lifestyle choice, it is a necessity, um, but I, I certainly have felt healthier in general than I have my entire life. So I think it's, it, it's, it speaks volumes. It's not about being worthy or jumping on a bandwagon, it's actually just saying, well, this is what we want to be. And, but actually, there's a, there's a very good, solid reason why we did become gluten-free. You know, Mark is the guy that comes up with all the recipes and everything, and he can't, you know, there's no good him owning a restaurant, he can't taste the food. So we had to do it, in, in, in effect. You know, we were London's first accredited gluten-free restaurant, and, and that's something we're proud of, and, and, and we want people to come here safe in the knowledge that they won't get any kind of form of uh, CC or cross-contamination from something else. Even the smallest crumb can make me quite sick, so 
those are the, those are the things I am conscious of. So it's really heartwarming to get such um, nice uh, comments and letters and, and uh, thanks from people who really appreciate that we are doing something unique here.